When I gave birth to my son, I lost my vision. I feel loneliness, helplessness. When I walk with Roxy, my disability doesn't exist. I know without Roxy, <coughs> my life look a little bit different. With a guide dog, you can do whatever you want. I'm much more active than when I could see. I can go anywhere. Roxy's leash and harness are like my car keys. The mission of the Israel Guide Dog Center is to provide independence and mobility. When I learned 30 years ago that there is no Hebrew-speaking guide dogs in Israel, I knew exactly my lifetime mission. In the United States, there are huge sidewalks. Here it's different. The sidewalks are narrow. The Israeli environment is very challenging. Therefore, we train the dog to do these specific tasks. We give them the all support, so they get it from our psychologists. Not only the dog, it gives me the connection to sport activities. I ran the New York City Marathon. I'm much more active than when I could see. I'm a phone operator in the medical clinic. Physically and mentally, I'm good at my job because of Winston. I can be a normal and good mother to my son to take him to the kindergarten. Only about 50 or 60 percent of the dogs make it. It's making miracles for my son with autism. 80 percent of the puppies are raised by university students on campus. Being a part of this and it's just like a very big family. We have given more than 600 people new lives. I believe that the hundreds of people could use guide dogs in the future. At the moment, the waiting list is over a year. So we need the facilities, the infrastructure, and the financial support. This service is free of charge, and to give a guide dog to a blind person, it costs over $25,000. The guide dog center gives us the all services, and we need your support. They changed my life, and they gave me eyes. Support us in providing mobility and self-confidence to blind Israelis.